So the dust collector wasn't uh, functioning quite as well as I was expecting it to be. <clears throat> so I took it apart and lo and behold, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of these very, very fine shavings that, uh, that serious man glitter that we picked up the other day. Yeah, there it all is. So I think it might be important to keep that screen in place. So I'm going to do that. I appreciate the suggestion to remove that. Uh, what I think might be part of the trouble is the hose, is the pipe that uh, goes extending down into uh, the cone. It currently comes down about this far, and I think that's probably too far. It's a little too narrow. So as things swirl around in this cyclone, uh, they're slowing down at this point and we have such a strong amount of suction here that I think it's just drawing things off the cyclone and off the wall and bringing it back up. So I can do one of two things. One, I could cut the pipe off much higher up. So there's a little bit more velocity. The centrifugal force of the particles swirling around will keep it against the wall a little bit farther. And by the time it gets down to here, um, it is far enough away from the inlet um, then it may not be drawn in. That's that's one option. But something I'm going to try first is drilling a number of holes. So the the this pipe is the inlet that goes into the cone. What I thought I'd do is I'd drill a bunch of holes <clears throat> starting about here. This is where I would probably cut it off if I choose to cut it off. Just drill a number of holes in here to diffuse the air a little bit more. Uh, reducing the overall suction that comes in the bottom of the pipe. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do just to see if that will help at all. And there's one more thing that I'm going to do. On the very bottom of the, of the cone, you may remember that there's a little bit of a lip that kind of bends in a little bit here just as it goes through the hat. I'm going to cut that off so that it is flush with the bottom of that lid. Uh, so a couple little minor modifications to make uh, and we'll see if that improves things at all and keeps particles flowing through into the hat a little more cleanly. So I'm going to start by drilling some holes here and I'll come back when I've got some updates on that. So looking at the bottom of the cone there was this little piece that I was talking about just a second ago where it, it kind of flares in and what I just found is that uh, that had been completely clogged. This whole opening got clogged. So this little uh, flaring in is a problem. So I'm going to cut that right off all the way around there and make it a little bit more of an even uh, transition all the way down the, uh, well, an even slope all the way down. So get rid of that lip. All right, so I cut that little wee bit off the bottom of the cone. And you can see that that in that short space of, uh, short distance, that reduced the inside diameter quite a bit. So I think that'll help with the performance of the cone. And then on our spout, I have drilled out another, so I've got eight 10 millimeter holes here, eight 10 millimeters hole, that's 16 10 millimeter holes. Then I went to a three quarter inch bit and I have eight three quarter inch holes all the way around there. Um, the math, the area of all these holes is almost the equivalent of this entire area here. So I'm hoping that that will diffuse the, um, um, the, the draft from the cone area a little bit. Like it won't all be sucking up here. It will get a little bit more around the edge. Overall volume is the same, of course, because we've we're got the same horsepower on the uh, same blower up here. But just prevent, uh, provide a little bit uh, less direct airflow as it comes down the cone right into here. Because from, from the edge of this to the edge of the wall of the cone isn't that very much. So hopefully this will give a little bit more diffusion of the air and make this draft a little bit less severe. We'll see how it works. Um, if this doesn't work, I can do one of two things. I can tape all this back up again or I can cut it off. So... Either way, no big deal, but it'd be an interesting experiment.